you know, all the stuff that I found over here is primarily cosmetic. And no, it doesn't look good, but that stuff is siding. It can be replaced for, what's the siding board? 12 bucks for a piece of cedar. And this stuff, it doesn't look good. And that is your structural band, but it's just superficial. And that's hard wood. So let's get the deck out the way. A minimum of one or two boards so we can get back there. Get that rail off the side. Don't let them attach them to the house. And um, let's go look at the front. You know, if I didn't do this, you would have to report. <laughs> I know. Right? And, and then... That would be wrong. <laughs> well, you know, it takes the pressure off of you. Thank you. And, uh... Well, you know, sharing information with smart people, you come up with better solutions. And, all right, I see mold, and we've already discussed what happens with mold and asphalt shingles. Green stuff going up, roots going down. Shingle stability, integrity is compromised. So, your homework assignment is to go to Lowe's, no, go to Home Depot. Lowe's isn't good anymore and get some um, sodium hypochlorite solution if you want to be fancy. If you want to be basic, we can just say bleach. 50-50, 25%. Spray it on that area until the green is gone and then hose it off. Uh, the bleach isn't going to hurt anything because that's an asphalt shingle. And um, all right, you've got all kinds of mold around your gutter in that corner. Um, Actually, there's a dark spot. Always look for dark spots. Is that okay? Well, that's the tree in the sky. Let's go down. And there it is. And there's side intersection right there. Alright, let's look at the video and evaluate Let's see if we have a wood rot point because in and of itself is not a bad thing but critters like to get in your house and you don't get a deduction is that personal exemption and the standard deduction i tried and they wouldn't let me do it so um the chimney looks good make sure your house stays painted cracks or water opportunities um yeah Obviously, there's cedar in the cedar, like all this kind of stuff, but I don't know about this. Um, knots are inherent with the product. Yeah. He should have used a high hiding primer, mm -hmm. in my opinion, a zinzer, mm -hmm. and you can still prime this and make the knots go away because that's just lackluster craftsmanship. Um, that, it should be bondoed. It should be sanded to smooth, and you should have bondo applied to all these seams so that, um, in my opinion, it becomes seamless on both sides. It is, it's not a repair that would cut the mustard in my company. If we were gonna do a wood damage repair, um, that tells me things might be moving. Mm -hmm. And those, the paint. well, yeah, yeah but, yeah. Yeah, but now you need to be calling that lawyer I've got to go see Saturday because it doesn't look like this has been primed. Uh, you see? Well, I remember seeing it primed at the time. Are you sure? Well, I don't know. It was white before it was this color. Usually primer's white. Right. Unless they're done painters because I would always prime to tan because it makes you tan faster. Right. And primer can be tanned and actually makes it better primer. Right. But um, I don't see white. And I'm yeah. looking for white, you see. Um, when was the house painted? I want to say three or four years ago, three years ago. And then he's been trying to kind of come back and calling and stuff. He just hasn't had time to do Who it. Who is this? Bibby? His name is, uh, Marvin Morris. Oh. Where'd you find him? Um, he... Referral? Mm hmm Now, you know the rules for contractors. No, not really. Oh, yeah, remember, three years on the BBB, no complaints are oh, one. Yeah, but you told me, yeah. Number one, you call their insurance company. Okay. Because that's the only guy that can say third party, impartial. Yes, he got insurance because he paid last month. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I know I buy mine a year in advance, and I'm listed on my website. But a lot of these guys, it just seems to thrill them to sneak by. Mm. Um, GE Silicone 2, paintable caulk, lifetime warranty does not do this. Mm. Okay. And that's too big of a gap. You know, but at least get the caulk in it, and you caulk it, and you push it in with your finger. So you don't do that kind of stuff. And all of those are water entry points. Some of those boards are way too short. Right. And that's where you're going to get in. And it's going to fail the interior before it fails the exterior. Right. <clears throat> 20 minute job. Okay. Um, what, two tubes of caulk, good caulk, 10 bucks. 15 bucks, that's all. 20 minute job. That's all it is. Mm. You know. Um, I don't like seeing nail holes in siding, you know, because that's water entry points, you know, and it's everywhere you look, yeah. and that's the worst house because it's Masonite, and they're going to be calling me in about two to three years to rewrap the whole thing at about $12,000, and that's cheap, mm. but you have cedar. And it's good because there's some sheen in it, and that means a stronger paint. But this looks good, all things being equal. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get that painted. Yeah. Well, oh. the, house, the whole entire house wasn't repainted at that time. Right. Okay. We just did what the structural damage was on the chimney and then repainted it. But. And that's the most important thing in the whole house is the gutter mm -hmm. because it gets the water away from the foundation. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's stuff like that. Yeah. Um, like I said, I've seen lots and lots and lots of places in, in the window nosing. Mm -hmm. um, and I put Sherwin Williams Duration and Resilient okay. from Sherwin Williams because it's got lifetime warranties and I hate painting. Really. All the labor and painting, all the money in painting is labor. Yeah. Um, watch your cap on your soffit. It's starting to, to go, and that's the little triangle, and that's the first thing that's going to go. When you say go. Go means it's going to become bare of paint okay. and it's going to start absorbing water. Um, and you can see that one there. When you look at all the nails, yeah. it's, it, it looks like they're rusting. Did they use galvanized nails? Mm -hmm. Even galvanized nails fail because, I mean, I grew up in Charleston on Folly Beach. We watch galvanized things rust mm -hmm. very quickly. Um, I want to be able to get and look at the crack above your light. Mm -hmm. I mean, define if that is a crack or is it just an irregularity in the wood? Um, and, you know, that's the only bad spot is in that gutter and it's prone to be a bad spot. And taking some bleach to it. Too. You guys can go to General Rental, rent a pressure washer in a day like this, mm -hmm. if you have time, for 40 bucks. Okay. And you can do a lap and put bleach on your house, let it sit as long as you can and clean it off. Okay. Go to Home Depot and get a jug of purple cleaner, it costs 10 bucks. Okay. And I'll wash everything in purple cleaner, because everything's what, a hydroxide, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. At some level, my dishes love purple cleaner. Huh. And it's cheaper than all of these things that's got marketing behind them, like ivory and dove mm -hmm. and dawn and tide <clears throat> um i like your roof i like your roof um your roof has a little mold on the left side right there and You got a really good looking ridge vent <laughs> right yeah. there on the left. You see how it's flat, picks up, yeah. so and flat you. again. Um, okay. 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 And um, it's cosmetic, but um, foundation, paint, primer, and then paint because it looks bare. And uh, pressure wash, when you do, it'll flake, and the goal is to make it flake as much as it will. And when it stops flaking, you don't have to blast it any longer. And then prime with something appropriate for painting concrete. 
Um, no foliage which within 18 inches of the house is a really good rule of thumb. And um, you can probably buy a garden sprayer and spray that fence after you pressure wash it in the spring. And uh, my phone going off. And um, just just get anything on it. It doesn't matter if it's a, a low return product of some kind. You can get it cheap. Yeah. And I like, my, my first preference is a semi-transparent on your fence and you can save that fence. Because you're looking at... Um, well, the majority of it, I feel like, needs to re be replaced anyway. There's one side of it that's completely rotted through. Maybe so. Maybe Someday. So. Maybe so, but... Hi, how are you? I always approach everything from the most cost conservative. Absolutely. And if you can spray it and get a year. Absolutely. Um, and check Home Depot and Lowe's and people they get bad mixes and matches and sometimes you can get an acceptable enough color right. so that you can garden spray it you pump the mm -hmm. thing up and you know you just hose it down but the bad problem is if it only does half your fence then you got to go buy that color right or you can stripe it or two-tone it i don't know right. um but from what i've seen i've seen i've seen people with problems and this ain't one of them you know I mean, really, as far as, oh, my God, I saw the lady's house, the floor's bouncing like a trampoline. Yeah, that's not good. No kidding. And it's a north turn. I'm trying to fix it. Find a way to fix it cheap, man. I went up underneath it, and, you know, it's a joist, which is a 2 by 8 holding mm -hmm. the house up every 16 inches. It right. looks like the skeleton. And it needs to be continuous from mm -hmm. the foundation to the middle low bearing wall. Every one of them has been scabbed in the middle. Mm -hmm. Meaning they've got basically.